All right, let's look at blood types in relationship to let's draw a picture and see if we can get a mental image. You don't want to memorize a chart for a board exam because your memory will fail you where charts are concerned. So you want to have a picture and a little story you can tell yourself. So the first story we're going to talk about is what are the four blood types, the, the, uh, the overarching blood types, meaning without the positive or the negative. We could just draw four red blood cells. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Alright, so here I've got four red blood cells. And now you guys are familiar somewhat with these names, but let's call this one type A. We'll make this one type B. This one can be AB, and then this one can be type O, all right? So we've got our four blood types here. We're not going to add too many details to this because we're new at this, right? We're just learning it, so we don't want to get too crazy with details. Let's just learn the basics here. So we're thinking about these are our red blood cells, all right? So these are our red blood cells, types A, B, A, B, and O. And let's put some words to this, just a couple of words that are important to this. So this is the red blood cell row, and these red blood cells have little markers on them, uh, little, little markers that are called antigens, right? And so an antigen is kind of like a name tag. An antigen is a, an identifier, in this case, uh, that says, uh, I am this type of blood, and your blood cell might have another identifier or name tag on it called an antigen, uh, different from mine. So I might have A's on my red blood cells, and you might have uh, B's on yours. So let's let's make this the, in addition to the red blood cell row, let's say this is also the antigen. There's the word, antigen row. And by that I mean all of these red blood cells are going to have antigens on them. So for A, I'm just going to make a, you know, I'm going to make this up as I go here. I'm just going to make these antigens look like the letter A. That helps me remember it. And if you want to, you can put an A on there just to remind you. All right, so those are the A's. And then for B, um, you can draw little B's on there if you want. Uh, I'm just going to do little round balls or B for balls or B for whatever you want to call them. Uh, so let's just say those are the Bs. So they're represented by these little round things. And then AB is going to have both. So it'll have A's on it and B's. So we'll do that all the way around. So this is just a way to think of it. So we have A's, B's, and then we have a thing with both. And then O's don't have any antigen. Right? So they're, they're bald. Right, so this is our this is our bald cell. It has no antigen for a blood type on it. And there's a lot of antigens uh, in biology, but the O antigen, the O red blood cell particularly does not have an A or a B on it. Right. So that's a way to think about red blood cells. So this is the red blood cell row with the antigens, and then below it, I'm going to make a second row. And this is going to be what we're going to call, this is the plasma. Remember that? The plasma was the top of the centrifuged uh, fractionated red blood cell sample. I'm um, sorry, uh, uh, the red blood sample. So plasma was the top portion, the watery portion that had all the, had all the, you remember it had all the proteins in it. One of those proteins is fibrinogen. Right, and another one is glycoprotein, and another one is albumin. But in addition to that, and the electrolytes and all that stuff, and water, it also has the Buffy coat, you know, part of it, part of the plasma, because Buffy coat is not red blood cells, so that's not part of hematocrit. So the Buffy coat itself has, um, it has platelets in it, but it has white blood cells as well. And so remember, platelets are responsible for coagulation stopping up a, 
uh, a tear or a bleed. And white blood cells, we haven't done the immune system together yet, but you'll see uh, where there's a type of white blood cell called a B cell that makes antibodies. And so plasma contains antibodies because the antibodies are made by a white blood cell in the plasma. So red blood cells have antigens and plasma has antibodies, right? Now an antibody is there to protect you in case the wrong type of red blood cell is introduced into your body. And the wrong type meaning something that doesn't match one of yours or isn't otherwise compatible. We'll talk about why in just a minute. I'm also leaving off the RH factor for right now. We'll do that at the end. So this is just straight up A, B, A, B, and O. Right? So we'll get the idea that red blood cells have antigens, plasma has antibodies. So if you think about this red blood cell right here, this A blood cell, what would be the opposite of A up here? So of course the answer is B. And this would mean that A cells don't ever want to encounter a B cell. And so in your plasma, you have these soldiers out there, these antibodies that are hunting around for B cells. They target B cells. They only target B cells. Of course, they wouldn't target A because that's what you are. All right, so let's call those B antibodies. So in this A type person, in this A type person, this A-type person is going to have B antibodies. Sorry about that line there. So this A-type person is going to have B antibodies. These antibodies are looking out to make sure none of these B cells or these any cell with a B gets in. You could call B antibodies uh, anti-B if you wanted to. But the principle is that they are against B. They are anti Anti means to be against something or opposed to it. They, are, they do not like bees. Now with that same idea, what do you suspect this cell does not like? What's the person that, this person has red blood cells in their fractionated red blood cell, uh, their, their fractionated sample. So let's say they have B cells in their sample. And what type do they not ever want to see? They don't ever want to see these guys, do they? So they never want to see an A. And so we would say their soldiers, or the little guys running around looking to protect them, are against A. They don't like A's. So we would call them A antibodies. Right? They don't like A's. So we could just call them anti-A. They are against A. So if one of these antibodies one of these A antibodies sees one of these, they're going to attack it, right? And vice versa, if a B antibody sees a B cell, it's going to attack it because they don't like them, right? So antibodies are kind of soldiers. You can think about that. And their label tells you what they don't like. If you're a B antibody, you are a soldier that does not like Bs. If you are an A antibody, you are a soldier that does not like As. That's your label. That tells you what to look for to attack. So that just tells you what that antibody doesn't like. All right, that's pretty simple. Let's look over at AB. So now I got this cell here and he's got everybody on it, right? So I've got A's and B's. So is there anything not to like? Is there anything in this plasma down here that could, you know, so we've got A's, so we wouldn't want this guy who doesn't like A's to attack because we've got A's on this cell. And we've got B's, so we wouldn't want this guy who doesn't like B's to attack this cell because we have B's. And so it turns out that AB blood type folks don't have any antibodies against red blood cells. So that, uh, the answer there is none or no antibodies. No antibodies. And I like to think of it as everybody's made up. And this cell has A's and B's, so there's peace. <laughs> All 
All right, so that's just a way to think about it. It's just a story. So ABs, they don't need any antibodies because they already have everything on their cell. Now this last one, this O, I said it was bald and it doesn't have any antigens on it. So it doesn't have any A antigens, it doesn't have any B antigens. So it's bald. And so since it doesn't have anything on its surface, it probably is going to look out for everything. And that means its soldiers are going to fight everything. And so, in fact, it does have both A and B antibodies. So it has A antibodies and B antibodies. This person's body, this person's plasma, remember this is the top portion of that centrifuged blood sample. This person's plasma has antibodies looking out all the time for A's and B's. Any of this gets in, any of that gets in, any of that gets in, because you've got both of them here. One of the B's are here, the A's are here. It doesn't like any of those, because all everything that it doesn't like is on these cells. Okay, so now we're thinking about that. We're going to add RH at the end. I'm going to make that a second part. So go on to the second video for this particular series.